What's going on guys, welcome to Sonic Sounds and today we are going to learn how to adjust the tempo of an instrumental in Logic Pro X. So this happens to me all the time where I get an instrumental from internet or something that somebody has sent me. I want to get to songwriting but the tempo is just not what I want. I want it to be a little faster or a little slower. So how do you do that in Logic Pro? Well first we got to find the tempo of the original file and then we have to adjust the tempo of it. So let's jump into Logic Pro. I have an instrumental I don't know the tempo of. So first we'll find that and then we'll stretch it to our liking. All right, so now we have this instrumental in Logic Pro. It's set to 120, but clearly this is not the tempo of this song. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here on the instrumental track, go to metering, BPM counter, and load up a BPM counter. And then we'll let the track play and see what tempo it finds. <laughs> Ninety-six, So we are going to go and hit 96 in Logic Pro and now this beat should be aligned with our tempo. Now sometimes there is an extra space in the beginning and what you might want to do is let's say this is the downbeat and you have some empty space in the front. You just want to make sure that you go to the next bar and then you load the downbeat at the exact start of the bar and this should be good to go. All right. So now that we've done this, we know the song is at 96 and let's say this is a bit too fast for our liking or a bit too slow. How do you change the tempo of an instrumental you just got? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to hit command F and this will open up flex pitch right here or the flex tools and you're going to click on this and it's going to analyze the transients. Now keep in mind, this has not changed anything so far but Logic has found all these transient markers. Now you can hit command F and just let that go. If we play this, you will not hear any difference. But let's say you want the song to be at 100. Now you can just change the tempo to 100. You won't see any visual changes, but now because we have all those elastic markers, Logic already has sped up the audio. So let's go. So that is a super quick and simple way of adjusting tempo of an instrumental in Logic Pro X. If you have any questions, leave them below. And as usual, if you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe and share it with somebody else that's going to find it useful. I'll see you at the next one.